With smartphones and social media at our fingertips 24-7, it can be hard to determine sometimes if the content you are seeing is real or fake. KCBD News Channel 11's Natalie Falkenberry sat down with a Texas Tech social media specialist to discuss what you should be aware of before you scroll. Folks definitely lurk around the internet and uh, they want to sow discord. And unfortunately, we all have to understand that. Lisa Lowe is a professor at Texas Tech University. She specializes in social media. She says although most of us are aware that not everything we see on social media is true, with the amount of content we see on a daily basis, it becomes hard to filter. And you see something that might be frightening and, and may be looming you know, in our community, absolutely we're going to be tempted to share that without being able to, to fact check it. That is when misinformation tends to go viral. Lowe says when you are aimlessly sharing a post that may be fabricated or dishonest, you are opening yourself up to more misinformation. Understand how algorithms work in their basic, um, you know, just their basic function is to serve you content that you've already looked at. So if you don't think you want to be served that type of content, don't click on it. As someone who teaches college students about social media every day, Lowe says young adults are some of the most social media aware. She says many misinformation posts are aimed at older generations. Um, it is those older folks that don't necessarily know that, hey, fake news is actually real. It's, it's not the type of news that you just don't agree with. It really is fake. Lowe says while social media can be a great resource to have, everyone should limit their time on platforms. And she recommends always fact checking articles before you hit that share button. We do need to understand it and understand that you are perhaps being manipulated. So I think we have to take more control of our personal habits on social media. Natalie Falkenberry, KCBD News Channel 11.